Yesterday, oral arguments began in front of Alberta's appeal court on our constitutional challenge to the Trudeau government's No More Pipelines Law, Bill C-69, also known as the Federal Environmental Assessment Act. In the last Alberta election, uh, I promised to Albertans that we would file this constitutional challenge to do everything within our power to fight back against what we believe is an illegal invasion of Alberta's exclusive authority under the Constitution to regulate the development of our own natural resources, a critical, hard-fought victory uh, uh, that was hardwired into the Canadian Constitution in 1982. We filed uh, our application for a judicial reference to the Alberta Appeal Court last September and I'm pleased that our lawyers are in court today together with those from Saskatchewan and Ontario uh, and uh, Woodland Cree First Nation, the Indian Resource Council, uh, the Canadian Association of Petroleum Producers, the Explor Explorers and Producers of Canada, the Canadian Energy Pipeline Association, the Independent Contractors and Business Association, the Alberta Enterprise Group, and uh, the Canadian Taxpayers Federation, uh, all together uh, to stand up for jobs and the economy here in Alberta, to stand up for our largest industry, Alberta's oil and gas industry, and to stand up for the Canadian Constitution and our province's exclusive authority to regulate our resources. Why is today's constitutional uh, challenge of the No More Pipelines law so important? Well, first of all, because it's about jobs and the economy. What it does is to create even more investor uncertainty. A growing body of economic research has uh, demonstrated the huge flight of capital from of job creating investment from Canada's economy. We saw that especially here in Alberta after 2015. And one of the reasons for it is red tape and investor uncertainty and endless delays in major projects like pipeline projects created by laws like this. Bill C-69, the No More Pipelines Law, makes that even worse. It was hard enough to get projects to prove, to build big things, to create jobs, to attract investment under the previous law. And now, in, with a law that the federal, in a process that the federal government can stop at any time for any reason at the whim of federal ministers, they have effectively politicized the process and that creates investor uncertainty. So one reason why we are keeping our election commitment to be in court today, uh, f suing the federal government over the No More Pipelines law is jobs and the economy. But an, another critical reason is that we are standing up for uh, our exclusive power under Canada's constitution to develop our resources.